All right, beautiful people of the world, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you your daily horoscope for Friday. Friday, Venus Day, Freya, the day of the lovers, the 9th of April 2021. We've got the moon moving through the later degrees of Pisces, going to conjunct Neptune early in the morning around 10 a.m. At 21 degrees of Pisces, creating a square to Mars at 21 degrees of Gemini. Let's talk about it. Let's check it out here. What's going on? This square is about information. We could potentially have some news as Neptune deals with news and media. Some unsettling, perhaps, news that comes out in the morning time. And we don't know how to act about it. Mars in Gemini, crazy stairs, MC Escher crazy stairs. We don't know which direction to go in. And as a result of finding out new information and not knowing the best direction to head in, with all of this Aries energy, we could potentially be putting the carriage before the horse in how we act or how we respond. I'll show you this too. Um, let me bring her up here. Eris, Venus conjunct Eris. Wee, the goddess of discord. As the day moves ahead, Venus is going to conjunct Eris. And that's a prime example. And just as that's happening, if we look up here to the moon at 26 degrees, creating a sextile over to, Nep uh, to uh, Pluto at 26 degrees of Capricorn. So it's interesting that we have these connections that what's going on in the morning time, news, information, media, an emotional pull, uh, being in that uh, black hole kind of concept of Neptune, uh, where we could also have a creative push in the morning time that we might not know exactly, you know, if we're doing a creative project, we might not see exactly how to handle it or the direction in order to go in. And this is a creative balance and dance that we must figure out on our own, whichever place or wherever we're at in our, our, own, our own lives. Um, but patience is necessary right now. I have a friend, my best friend in the world, also named Aaron. He has a sun, Venus, Mercury in the sign of Aries. I am sun, Venus, Mercury in the sign of Capricorn. And though we balance each other out uh, very, very, very well, like I said, he's my best friend in the world, my, my true brother. He often will say, I have a hard time sitting still and, and, and often will rush into something before kind of weighing out all of the options. Um, this is just a natural characteristic of Aries. And me, over, I'm over here, the, you know, procrastinator. You know, and sometimes my best work comes out in that procrastination as I'm waiting and waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden, oh, Father Time here, Capricorn energy, tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. It's like, okay, well, we got to do something, otherwise nothing's going to happen, and then, boom, there's the, the energy comes out of that. Anyway. Um, so back to this Aries energy, you know, we could be putting the carriage before the horse. We could be uh, jumping the gun on something. So it's important that we kind of try to slow things down, look at all the facts, look at the big picture of things, as Jupiter here is also starting to create that uh, sextile over to Venus. That'll be exact on Saturday. But Venus conjunct Eris, the goddess of discord in mythology, Eris gives the apple, is it the, is it is the apple, uh, that says to the most beautiful one, to the seven muses, and they end up fighting amongst themselves. Eris is something I've talked about on this channel before. And they fight amongst themselves in, 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 in a beautiful dance that is very unbeautiful. That no matter what arguments come out there, no matter what someone is, what point they're trying to make at why they deserve that apple, 
that conversation in and of itself makes them less beautiful and less deserving of that apple that says to the most beautiful one. So I don't give Eris a bad rap in astrology. It's just, it's about information being given to us and how we respond, how we react to that information. And I find it no coincidence as everything coincides of everything, you know, and dealing with astrology that we have this square to Mars, Neptune, and the Moon in the morning time, and then Venus, what we love, want, and desire, uh, conjunct Eris, which is how are we going to deal with this? Are we going to deal with this information out of pure, raw emotions? Can we practice restraint? And that's what the Moon is teaching us as well at the same time is about restraint, is about pacing ourselves, is about bringing things to a completion, about bringing things to an ending. And, and Pluto up there in Capricorn about transcendence in that, in that specific spot, uh, 26 degrees of Capricorn, Pluto's about transformation, and it's about, you know, what we put in is what we get out. So this is the hard work that we do, perhaps the restraint that we uh, allow ourselves is going to be rewarded. Now, now that's a that's a balance, and 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 sometimes acting upon something is necessary at the time and the moment. And I'm not I want to speak for anybody. Uh, sometimes acting right now is is the only decision that we can make, and it's what we have to do. And then later on, we find out if that was the best decision at the time when we made it. So sometimes, if we can practice restraint, we should. And if there's times to act, and it's right now, right now, right now, then there's that as well. So this is this is just very individual on how we're all dealing with this. And what do you have at 24 degrees going around your chart? What do you have at 21 degrees or 26 degrees going around your chart? Where do these things line up for you? Whatever it is, I hope you are rewarded. And that's the end goal here, is, is the moon creating the sextile to Pluto is being rewarded. If we put in the work, we get something out of it. And it's not doing the work to get something out of it, but it's being ourselves, part of this Aries energy, being ourselves, doing what we do because we love doing it, because we are who we are, right? We're the tree or we're the rock or the mountain or we're the river or the sun, whatever we are, we're just doing. That's, that's its job. So you're just doing your job. And by doing your job and following through and not hiding out, not playing it too safe, <laughs> as this Aries energy does want us to act, but it's how we react to information. It's how we react to other people that really kind of wins the day here on how things resolve toward the end. And we're going to be rewarded if, we're, if we've fed our chickens and they come home happy and fat or not. That is our day, my friends. Happy Friday. Happy Venus Day of the lovers to you. I wish you enough and we'll see you tomorrow.